testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, here with a big show. It's the night before the uh, big fight. Um, Errol Spence versus Danny Garcia. Uh, we're going to give you a prediction and a preview show today. I um, wasn't going to do one. Uh, I did my prediction on MCR uh, Podcast with, with Matt Hunter. Um, but something... I'm picking Errol Spence, so I'll, I'll give you guys a spoiler, but I'll, I'll get into the, the how and when. Uh, but I do feel like um, Danny Garcia is being really, really disrespected in this fight. Um, Danny Garcia has beaten, what, eight or nine world champions going all the way back to Nate Campbell and Kendall Holt early in his career at 140 pounds. He's got a really good resume. He's got a Hall of Fame resume. Uh, when was the last time? A Hall of Famer, a potential Hall of Famer, still in the prime of his career, was this disrespected that no one's giving him a chance? Look, um, I know stylistically it's not a great fight for Danny. You know, I, I try to come up with a path to victory. It's like, no, Spence beats him that way too. And I'm picking Spence to win. Spence should be the favorite. Spence is the best guy in the weight class. Spence is coming off an injury. I don't know if that's going to have much of an impact. He's been out of the ring for a while. Um, we'll see. Danny Garcia is, is kind of like the sleeper in the division. Garcia is an excellent fighter. Um, Danny Garcia knows how to pick his spots. He can out slug, um, Errol Spence, not because he's necessarily a bigger hitter. His knockout percent is much, much lower, right? It's about 60% and Spence is about 80%. Um, so I, I'm not saying that he's a bigger puncher. What I'm saying is he knows how to pick his spots better. His timing is impeccable. Um, his timing is incredible. He's got a good jab. He can work his jab. He can jab with Spence. Um, he's got to be more aggressive, and he's got to step out of his comfort zone. Danny is like, the, like, is a guy that likes to counter. He's a really good counter puncher. Um, I don't know that he can consistently get let Spence get off first and try to counter Spence to death. Um, he, he's got to meet Spence in the middle of the ring. Um, he's got to... He, He's, he's got to fight him in the middle of the ring. You don't, you don't obviously want Spence to back you up um, into the ropes. That's that's not good. And, and Danny's fight isn't really coming forward and, and, and moving you backwards. And Danny's a big guy. Um, you know, he's only 5'8", but he's, he's built solidly. Um, he's a solid guy. He's a, he's a solid 147-pounder who, who I think, should he lose, which I, I'm going to pick him to lose um, in a really good contested fight. I, I think he goes up to 154 for this. Um, you, you can see the... With age and body gets bigger, making 154 seems not to be such an easy thing for him to do anymore. Um, and maybe he'll he'll see Spence up there soon. I think Spence is going up to 154 in the relative near future. Um, but this is a real fight, guys. Um, this is not one way traffic. This isn't a quasi tune up fight for Errol Spence. Danny Garcia is a real threat. Danny Garcia was right there with Keith Thurman, lost a real close split decision. Lost a real close decision to Sean Porter. He's a couple of cards away from being undefeated. And yes, you could argue he lost to Peterson. And you could argue that he lost to Herrera. You can absolutely argue that. Uh, but you could argue he beat Thurman and Porter. I would make those arguments. I I, I think he lost to Herrera. I think he beat Peterson. And, um, you know, the, I scored both the other fights again. Look, the point is he's got a Hall of Fame career. He's got really good wins. He's beaten eight or nine champs. Uh, Danny Garcia does a lot of things really well. He's got good power. He's got a great left hook. He's got a strong right hand. He jabs well. Um, defensively, he's okay. Like he does a lot of things. He's kind of like you know a, a, a jack of all trades. Maybe not an ace of, of any, but a jack of all trades. He, I think, his dad gets the absolute angel gets the absolute most out of him. Um, and it's going to be tough, right? Because Arrow is, is a beast. Um, Errol is probably the classier boxer. Um, I, I, who's quicker? We're going to find out. I, I don't know the answer to that. They're even, they're close in a lot of ways. I think their punching power is probably close, even though Spence has the higher knockout percentage. Uh, I think Spence, Danny picks his shots better than Spence, but I think Spence has 
the better killer instinct. Um, I think when Spence gets you hurt, that you're out. Like Spence, uh, Garcia, Danny Garcia, Swift got uh, Red Cash hurt a couple times and let him off the hook. Spence ain't going to let you off the hook. You know, it's not a, necessarily a power thing. It, it's it's one guy's a better closer, one guy's a better finisher than the other. I think Spence is a better finisher, but I don't foresee a knockout in this fight either way. And if I had to guess, if, if there is a knockout, which I, I would strongly bet against, I would think it's Garcia knocking out Spence. Uh, but I don't, I don't, I don't see a knockout. I think this thing goes the distance. I think it's evenly contested. I think it's more of a strategic boxing match, uh, especially through the first half of the fight than you think. I think maybe um, Spence, uh, Garcia. Starts to feel like maybe he's getting a little behind six, seven rounds in. He's maybe down four, two, five, two, and he starts to pick it up and they start to train. I, I think, again, Garcia has moments, but again, Spence is just a little bit better, you know, and Spence um, starts to wear him down. And I think at the end of 12 rounds, after 12 tough rounds, I, I think Errol Spence takes a real close, real tough. You know, competitive decision, 8-4, maybe 7-5 on the cards. Like that kind of, you know, unanimous decision, but very close decision is how I would predict this one. Um, I just think Danny Garcia is being disrespected. Like he's some kind of tune-up or some kind of pushover. Like no one's picking him to win. And like You don't have to pick him to win. But it's not outrageous to think that he would win. Right? Like if, if I said um, next week in the NBA – Give me the best team in the league. The Lakers are playing the Celtics. Okay, uh, I'll take the Lakers. But it's not like the Celtics can't win that game. It's not like that's an outrageous thing to pick. Right? It's a really good team. It's not as good as Lakers, but it's a really good team, and they could win. It, it, things go their way. They have a really good night. It, it's certainly possible, and, and that's how I feel about Garcia. Like If they fought 10 times, like Spence would beat him 10 times. It's not like Spence would beat him 9 times. Garcia is a really good fighter. Like I said, he's a whole famous. He's been 8, 9 world champions. He's knocked out Amir Khan. He's knocked out Eric Morales. You know, he, and this, he, he beat Lucas Matisse. Like, the guy's resume is good. The guy's a proven commodity. He beat Lamont Peterson, and then he was right there with Keith Thurman and Errol Spence. You, um, you know, look at it like this, and I know triangle theories aren't great, but Danny Garcia was within a round of Errol Spence. I mean, Danny Garcia was within a round of Sean Porter. I'm sorry, Danny Garcia was within a round of Sean Porter. Sean Porter was basically an even six six fight with Errol Spence that he lost because of a knockdown. So he's within one point. He's, he's you, know, you know, what I'm saying like they're all on the same level. It's not like Spence is on another level than these guys. Uh, on, on any given night, Garcia could beat Errol Spence. Now, again, I'm not picking that. I think Spence is the best fighter in the weight class, so I think Spence gets the job done. If I had to bet, I'd bet my money on Errol Spence. But it's not, depending on what the odds are, right, if you can get good money on Danny Garcia to win this fight, it, it might be worth it to take it because he's being disrespected. He's being underrated. Danny Garcia is an excellent fighter, a gifted fighter, kind of like that five tool fighter, like they say quarterbacks, there's a quarterback that can make all the passes, right? He can dump off the passes, he can make the intermediate passes, he can throw the bombs downfield, like um he can make the touch passes, he can make shoulder fades. Danny Garcia is kind of that quarterback where he can make all the passes, so to speak. Like he can do everything. He might not be the best at everything, but he's good enough at a lot of things. Um but let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys think Garcia has a chance? Do you think Errol Spence is going to wreck him? Do you think they're in different leagues? Or do you think, I mean, this is not a 50 50 fight, but a 60 40 fight in favor of Spence. And Danny Garcia has a real chance in this fight. Like, uh, if he wins, I don't think it's much of an upset. It's a, it's a minor upset. I don't think it's a major upset if, if Danny Garcia wins this fight. And again, I'm not picking him to win. Uh, but I think this is a really good fight. I think this is an even fight where at the end of 12 rounds, we said, you know, Spence won, but this was a really good fight, and Danny accounted well for himself. Uh, is there any fight that Danny lost that he didn't account well for himself? No, he's right there with Thurman. He's right there with Porter. The, the fight that he looked like garbage, it was the um, not, well, the Red Cash fight, he did not look good either. Um, but, I mean, he won every round against the overmatched opponent. And Garcia's last out, he just looked disinterested. You know, Red Cash is not a guy he should have been in the ring with. Red Cash is another level. Red Cash bit him. Um, Danny Garcia just seemed to be going through the motions in that fight. I, I kind of like the way Porter looked against Andre Berto, right? When you remember, uh, he fought, it's like, uh, I mean, yeah, Porter did end up stopping him, but he kind of seemed like he was going through the motions in that fight. That's how I felt with uh, Garcia fought with, um, 
Red Cash. So I wouldn't hold that against him too much. Garcia is a pro. He's a veteran. He's been in a ton of big fights, a ton of world title fights. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Is, is Garcia being disrespected? Do you guys feel the same way I do? Do you think Garcia has a legitimate path to victory somehow? That, you know, if they fought 10 times, that Danny Garcia would certainly win some of them? Um, leave your thoughts, comments and below. Remember to like and subscribe. Share this on all forms of social media. Hit the little bell icon uh, so you get notified every time we release the video, every time we go live. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.